Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's movie that we are going to be reviewing is titled Morphe and this is a movie that premiered in cinemas in March 2020 and was one of the last movies I got to watch before lockdown. This movie was filmed in Western Cape in the English and Afrikaans languages. <laughs> This is a film that was directed by Oliver Hermanus and it follows the storyline of a 16 year old boy who is gay and has to serve two years in the South African military system in order to defend the apartheid regime. This young man knows that he is different and therefore he does everything that it takes to keep himself hidden. He faces some serious boyhood challenges. Will these challenges forever change him? Well, let's find out next in the trailer. Sugar man, <laughs> met a false friend on a lonely, dusty road. Sugar man, won't you hurry? Cause I'm tired of these seas. For a blue Won't you bring back all the colors The Morphe movie has phenomenal actors such as Kay Luke Brummer who featured in Vagrant Queen, Ryan De Villiers and Hilton Pulser from The Kissing Booth. Now the objective of the story was to tell about the hurt and shame and the healing of old wounds. South Africa is a country that has a history of division and it is important for us as South Africans to tell the story of our historical divisions. The term Morphe is a South African derogatory term to shame men for their sexuality. And in this movie, you see how young white men were groomed to be racist and hate black people. But you come across so many scenes in this movie where there's this rivalry between the English and the Afrikaans speaking people in which the Afrikaans feel as if they are the superior. There are a number of scenes in this movie that I could relate so much, especially from my boarding school days, because there were so many scenes where the boys went through some hectic hardcore boot camp and then there's also like this brotherhood amongst the boys and showering naked amongst your peers and this is something that Luke found very difficult because of his sexuality. And now moving on to the cinematography side of things, this is a movie that is based in the 1980s and there is something specific that I picked out about the screen aspect ratio. So the cinematographer currently use a screen aspect ratio of 16 to 9. However, in this movie, they use the screen aspect ratio of 4 is to 3. And that is simply because that was the screen aspect ratio for the TVs in the olden days. And therefore, what the cinematographer is trying to achieve is to give the viewer a similar experience to what watching television was like back in the olden days. And touching on some of the color grading from this movie, I was very disappointed. And that is simply because this is a war-themed movie and the cinematographer gave us warm colors when warm colors actually represent humor, energy, joy. And that is not what we were looking for. And what I would have done differently as a cinematographer is I would have given it a gray dull color because according to the psychology of color in film, the gray dull color represents fear, misery and anger. And that is what a war movie is more or less about. The Morphe movie has been nominated for a variety of awards across the globe. And although it won Best Director at the Dublin Film Festival as well as the Thessaloniki Film Festival, I did not feel as if I was the target market for this movie. So therefore, I am going to give it a three stars. This movie is available on DSTV box office and it's also available on Amazon Prime Video. The links are in the description below. If you enjoyed this movie review then please give it a like, 
please also comment down below and subscribe to my channel i do filmmaking film reviews and lifestyle vlogs thank you very much for watching and remember to live life at your own pace and run your own race okay i love you guys goodbye